think too many mothers put their little daughters on ponies and not into go-karts. Yeah, no, you've got to... Yeah, well, no, no, is... not in sight. Some girls do go karting, because Abby, our driver, she was karting since she was a little nipper. Well, I think what this series is all about, it's not about segregation, it's about encouraging women to go car racing, which I think is a good idea. Yeah, I think it is, but I think it has to start early on. So, little girls, it's time to get off your ponies and get into a go-kart. Yeah. And I can tell you, actually, from some experience of horses, the good thing is, when you walk out in the morning, you'll find that your go-kart hasn't crapped itself and died in the night. <laughs> <laughs> so it's better than your horse. You'll also find out that go-karts are more fun than going on an horse. They just are. Yes, yes. And you'll find also that a go-kart won't pop its long, stupid head up over the stable door and look at you. And you know <laughs> it's thinking, it's trying to say to you, hey, your wife, she's, she's back here with me, in here. Uh, <laughs> she's given me breakfast in bed, crapped myself last night, but she's clearing that up with a garden fork. <laughs> and then it says, and the penis is a bit dirty. She'll be sorting that out for me later on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then your wife's head will pop up over the stable door and she'll say, don't look at him like that, he'll think you don't like him. And you'll say, I know! <laughs> if I could speak horse, I would tell him I hate you. I hate the way you steal my wife and my money and my status around here. <laughs> and then one day you'll have a conversation with your wife and she'll say, darling, I need a trailer to move my special horse around to wonderful places because these fields are too small for him to exercise his magnificent muscled legs. And you'll say, OK, I'll get you a trailer. And then she'll say, I need a special car to tow the special trailer to carry the special horse so you'll get one and then one day she'll say I need a lorry a great big lorry to carry my great big magnificent horse around the country and the lorry must have a kitchen and a bed in it so I can sleep close to my horse closer to my horse than I am to you and at that moment your head will bow and your heart will break because you know you have lost and the horse has won <laughs> that's very good <laughs>